Now, imagine playing a game that rewards you for growing. Whenever you grow, whenever you get to know yourself better, whenever you improve, imagine getting rewarded for that in a game. So this is what we're working right now, and this is how it works. What we're doing is we're creating personality NFTs, these are NFTs of your personality, of your identity, and they measure a number of different things. First, we're going to look at the things that you value in life. How do you see the world? And what sort of things in it do you value? And what are you moving towards? Okay? And then we're going to look at your personality traits. Personality traits are kind of like strategies that we use towards moving towards our goals. They also kind of inform the things that come natural to us, our talents or capacities. Okay? And so as we're moving towards our goals, we envision ourselves. We have a vision of who we are and who we will become once we achieve those goals. Right? And as we grow up over time, this entire thing changes. So, and you can see this in your own experience. When you were younger, you had a lot of the same personality traits. But the thing that probably changed is the things that you valued. And the things that you valued change over time. Okay, and they become more refined. So in some cases you might value the same things, but the way you approach them is differently. Also one of the things that happens is you grow up. What happens is, is you start to add on additional things that you value, right? So the number of values that you have in your life grow. And that's essentially what growing up is, is you're not just throwing away old values per se, you're refining the old values and adding new values, and now overall you have more value in your life. So <laughs> what we're doing here is we're taking a psychometrics test, and then we're, we're going to symbolically represent all of this in an NFT. Then you could take this NFT and you could use it in our communities. And then in our community, we're going to introduce you to people that have similar goals with you as you do, similar identities, and also people that have complementary personality traits. And then together, you can move towards the same goals, help each other achieve goals, create and share value with each other, and as you do this, the entire community gets elevated. We all start moving towards our goals. The thing is that we're overlaying an economic structure that incentivizes growing up, right? So as you're including more and more values, that means you have more value in your life, we're going to find a way to enumerate that. So now you're, it's going to be represented in, not in an accounting format, not just in an internal format. So those are two of the things that we're doing. So now let's talk a little bit more about what the system is like. So the first part we already talked about, and that's growing up, and that is going from one value system to another value system, incorporating additional values and having more value in your life. Another very important part is cleaning up. And what cleaning up essentially is, is confronting the parts about ourselves that we don't want to admit exist, the parts that are holding us back. That's things like our shadow, okay? So we want to also confront our shadow and incorporate our shadow even and some of those things into our personality and get the value out of it. At the same time, we also want to let go of things that are not working for us, like maladaptive traits. This is the, the psychoanalytical approach, the psychology. But so we're doing these two things, right? We're, do, we're doing the growing up part and we're doing the cleaning up part. And this is going to go a long way towards you living a more fulfilled, meaningful life and having purpose, having good direction. But the most important part is the waking up part, okay? Because if you've noticed in your life, everything constantly changes all of the time, right? Your body changes, your mind has changed, your personality changes a little bit, your thoughts and your feelings. We often get identified with these things in our life. We get identified and we combine ourselves with our thoughts and we think we're our thoughts. We combine ourselves with our feelings, we think we're our feelings. We combine ourselves with the roles that we play in life. If you're a doctor, you're gonna combine yourself with that role. Now, one day when you're not a doctor anymore, when you retire, you're going to feel like you lost a part of your identity. But at the end of the day, all these things come and go, right? And, 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 and it even happens in a much shorter time span. So for example, right now you're having a thought, that thought comes and it goes. If you were that thought, you would come and go with it. But you're not, you're still here. And another thought comes. Same thing with the feeling. The feeling comes, you're happy in a moment or angry or whatever else, and then it goes but you don't go with the feeling, you're still here, okay? When you go to bed tonight, 
You're going to forget entirely about this world. The world's going to go, but you're still going to be here. You're going to be in a dream world. And at some point, your mind might stop and you might not be in a dream world anymore. You might be in just deep sleep. And even though there's no world and there's no concept of you, you yet you still are in this deep sleep. Then you're going to wake up in the morning totally refreshed. Someone asks you how you slept, you'll say, I slept wonderfully. What do you remember about it? Nothing, because there was nothing to remember. The most important part here is that when you're going through this process, the thing that is consistent and constant through all this change, through all the different things that are coming and going, is you, is the awareness, is your consciousness. So waking up is all about awareness being aware of itself. So the third part is the consciousness. And so we're going to look at those three parts, growing up, cleaning up, and waking up. And through, by focusing on each of them, you can have a really, really, really fulfilling life. And then since we're, you're in a growth community, a community of people that is looking to grow, and we always start with where a person is, okay? As the person grows to creating more value, in essence, this is the most valuable thing you can do in your life. And so we're creating an economic system and a culture that supports this. So you can focus more on this in your life. And that's the goal of this project. So if you want to participate, this is how you can do it. First, you can uh, join the waitlist and be part of the community. And then once we start releasing the NFTs, once we do our, our visionary collection launch, you could participate in that. The second thing, the second thing you can do is make sure that you like and share this video and share it with people in your community. Um, and then if you want to learn more about our project, what you can do is you can learn about personality theory here. I'm going to have more videos on this uh, personality NFTs and how they're designed. And, so and I hope to see you in the community. Thank you.